Starfish, can you believe it? They keep coming back. Thanks so much for checking out the show. I'm Kristen, this is Starfish. Now I want you guys to learn about some of the, the animals today I met in Australia. Now these are my favorite. They really light up the reef. Let's go learn about butterfly fish. Look, here we are, let's take a dive and learn about butterfly fish. Yeah, they get the name because of the bright, beautiful butterfly-like patterns all over their bodies. They are so beautiful and stunning to see on the reef. How many white and yellow butterfly fish are there? One, two. A pair of threadfin butterfly fish. They have an eye spot and a mask on their body. Butterfly fish are known for having a long and narrow beak that's perfectly designed to feed on small invertebrates. As you can see, butterfly fish are diurnal, meaning they like to swim at day and then they'll rest during night. What animal does this fish look like? Hmm. Did you think a raccoon? Yeah, me too. Those are Red Sea Raccoon Butterfly Fish. What's cool about butterfly fish? Some of them are so specialized, they only eat on one or two different kinds of coral, which means they're really important at maintaining the health of coral reefs. How many black and yellow butterfly fish are there? One, two. A pair of saddleback butter butterfly fish. They have a large saddle spot on their back. Yeah, they're pair bonded and monogamous, meaning they mate for life. But you know what? It's always safer to be swimming with a buddy. Thanks for taking this dive with me. You know, starfish, there is nothing better than swimming along a reef. I find it so relaxing, just being pushed with the waves as you get to look at all the beauty under the water. It's truly a spectacular place. D, D, Dugong. You know, starfish, sometimes when you're on a reef and you're looking out into the deep, that can be super scary because you never know what's out there. There could be a really big shark that's going to cruise by. But you know what? You get to be super lucky when you see them because often they're going to just swim right by you and you're not even going to see that big shark. Now, I think it's time to do another activity. Is it buoyancy test time? I think it is. Let's go sink or float. All right, everyone, time for the buoyancy test. Yep, that's right. This is where we see if things sink or float. I don't even know, but I've got two of my favorite characters today. Yep, we've got Sky from Paw Patrol. Now, normally she takes to the sky, but today we're gonna see if she sink or floats. We've also got Rex. How cool is that? He even gets to have a wheelchair and he's a puppy. I love that. Okay, ready? Let's dive in. Whoa, look at that. Sky sinks. What about you, ready? Oh, he floats. There you go. Sky sinks and Rex floats. Pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for learning with us today on the Kristen Starfish Show. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. Please like and subscribe. And remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be starfish. Take care. Thank you for letting me in your home. I'll see you again soon.